Well, we're expecting some clouds to begin to fizzle out over our skies that will allow our temperatures to cool off pretty considerably and potentially even leading to our first frost of the season. That's why frost advisories have been issued across the area, mainly for areas north of I-88. That's where we see the best chances for those clouds clearing out overnight. And where we see the most uh, clearing, that's where we have that frost potential. And tonight, where we see the most clearing, temperatures will be getting down close to freezing, down to 35 degrees for a low tonight. And where we do see the most in terms, or where we see the most cloud cover, I should say, temperatures will be in the more into the upper 30s like those areas down by light Lee and Whiteside counties where more clouds will likely be overhead. Heading into tomorrow though you'll definitely want the coats regardless of where you are because we'll be waking up to temperatures in the mid to upper 30s but with plenty of sunshine throughout the day temperatures will be rising into those middle and upper 50s so still going to need the jacket in the afternoon but you'll definitely want to be bundling up for tomorrow morning. We see the same thing heading into Tuesday another frosty start before sunshine gets us back into those upper 50s. So consider Monday and Tuesday pretty much uh, this pretty much similar days. But then later this week, we have a storm system, a pretty classic fall like system that will bring some very inclement weather, gusty winds and rain included in that and looks like over quite an extended period of time. So let's jump right into future track and you'll see how we have some rain showers ahead of a low pressure system developing, maybe approaching the area as we head towards Wednesday afternoon, looking like at the earliest, this area of activity will be lingering overhead and heading into Thursday. But our focus is gonna be also on on this area of low pressure developing in the central plains as that moves overhead and you can see it really strengthens as it gets closer to the Great Lakes states and that's where we have that potential for long lasting rain chances. Now the exact track of this low pressure system we haven't quite nailed down quite yet. It's still a few days away but if we're to the north of this area that's where we could see some longer lasting rain chances. South of the area along this cold front that's where we could see potentially even some thunder thunderstorms along with some pretty gusty winds. So we'll be keeping an eye on that over the course of the latter part of the week and even into the weekend as we see some rain wrapping around the uh, other side of the slow pressure system. So pretty long lasting rain chances and we could see a, a few inches of rain which over a long period of time could lead to some river flooding of creeks and streams here close to home. So that's going to be an impact that we'll be watching over the next few days as when we have this much rainfall over this kind of period and over such a large area that's where that potential lies that we could see some river flooding. So something to keep in mind for the latter part of the week but we still have a couple of calm and sunny days to enjoy. Temperatures in the upper 50s both Monday and Tuesday. Then those rain chances come in beginning Wednesday, lasting through next weekend. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, you'll see that we keep these fall like temperatures going with highs staying in those low to mid 50s for quite a long period of time. So Sam, grab the jackets because we really have a fall like stretch coming up.